If you've seen any other videos of this game on the channel, you will know that I'm a big fan of Immortal Redneck. Only recently I reviewed the game on Xbox One and now I've had the chance to play the game on Nintendo Switch. And what Nintendo Switch adds is the sense of a portability game and a fast paced action arcade like first person shooter on the go. And that's exactly the sort of sense you get from Immortal Redneck. It's very much the same experience you get on consoles or PC but obviously with the the natural drawbacks of it being on Nintendo Switch but ultimately it feels incredibly good it's it's one of the most surprising aspects of this is that it feels really smooth getting around the room side strafing around a bunch of frogs or whatever enemies are thrown at you still feels really satisfying and it, it feels like the tools are still there to overcome whatever obstacles are there in front of you. Uh, the one thing you'll probably notice maybe from this is the visuals are paired back, uh, especially in handheld mode. The resolution feels a little bit blurry at times. It feels like the sense of speed um, it sort of held back a bit when, it's, when this happens, when things get really fast. The visuals just feel a little like there's a bit of grease on the lens, let's say. Um, but regardless, the texture work, the lighting, um, the assets are on display here on the Nintendo Switch still look fantastic, to be completely honest. And even though there are obviously drawbacks, um, I really still got a great sense of satisfaction from Immortal Redneck. Now, I'm not sure if it's due to me playing the game quite a bit in recent months on multiple platforms. I did get the sense that this game felt a little bit easier. On Nintendo Switch, I could be wrong. I could be just, you know, underselling my Force Patient Shooter skills, although I don't think I've ever done that. Um, on Nintendo Switch, though, I really sort of fell for this game pretty hard and pretty quickly because I guess I knew what I was getting into. And if you're not too sure what Immortal Redneck is, even by this video, it is a procedurally generated room uh, sort of roguelike shooter and you move your way up the pyramid taking on random waves of enemies and randomly room rooms laid out um and as you go you earn gold you get scrolls which add sort of maybe little perks that could be negative or positive there are some challenge rooms where you've got to not die or not get hit or well if you die you die i mean if you don't get hit or you got to beat it in a certain time that offers great rewards and there are multiple characters i believe there's nine overall and each of them have a uh, their own unique loadout as well as passive and active abilities and the active abilities can be anything from faster fire rates to um, turning everything on the screen into steak which which is then used to increase your health but every time you die you take your gold and you go up to a tree it's a skill tree it's very smartly done actually uh, and you improve base stats like your health, your critical rate, and the damage you deal, the, the amount of gold you earn, and to other things like new classes and new abilities. And it's that sense of you're not going to beat a first time, and you invest. It's like um, I think the the very easy comparison to make in this sense and how that's done is a uh, Rogue Legacy. But I feel like there's a lot more here potentially than Rogue Legacy in the sense that. The, the shooting and the skill tree itself, there's so much to it. And beyond that, like I think the, the thing I can't say enough is just how satisfying that shooting is. You can have all these layers and mechanics on top of each other, but if the core gunplay isn't good, then you kind of feel a little like held back by it. But here, I definitely never felt. I think it's one of the most satisfying and smoothest shooters I've played in a long time. And especially on Nintendo Switch, it's incredibly impressive. So if you kind of like what you see, I can only tell you to go out and buy it because it is one of the best shooters to me. Personally, I'm a bit of a biased fan of this, I'll be honest. Uh, but I've really enjoyed every time I've gotten the chance to play this game. And especially now having it on the Nintendo Switch and on the go. Um, there's not a lot of shooters on that platform. Um, and this is a very good price for what it's offering. Uh, so if you're looking for a good shooter or fun experience on the Nintendo Switch... Uh, I very highly recommend you go out and buy Immortal Redneck. It's uh, it's pretty damn awesome.